does not do dawa, they shall not enter Jannah. It's compulsory. Now, how to see to it that our children, they do dawa? It is because most of the things, many of the parents, and even the people, the children, they do not know the advantages as well as the good things about Islam. Many of them, they are apologetic about the religion. Because they apologetic, they feel, okay, for namesake, we are Muslims, and they are very much impressed by the non-Muslims. What we have to do is that we have to prove, alhamdulillah, that Islam is the best way of life. And the good things about Islam. If we prove to them that, alhamdulillah, Islam is the best way of life, Islam is a more scientific religion as compared to, to Christianity or any other religion, they'll be proud of their religion. The reason they like being with non-Muslims is because they think that Islam is not the best way of life. What we have to do is that we have to prove to these Muslims, who are namesake Muslims, that Islam is the best way of life. So we have to let them read certain books like Islam, which proves that Islam is the best way of life, Quran and modern science, and prove to them that Christianity is not the best way of life, that if you read the Bible, Bible is against science and technology, and Quran, if you read Quran, what is mentioned in the Quran today, what Quran is mentioned, the scientific points we have come to know recently. What is mentioned in the Quran is 1400 years back. Like we learn today from science that, that we have come to know that about the Big Bang Theory. How did the world came into existence? And what is mentioned in the Quran is 1400 years back, which we came to know recently, maybe 50 years back, 100 years back. We previously did not know that Quran, that, that today the world is spherical in nature. The first time we have come to know that the earth is spherical is, seven, is 1597 when they came to know that when they, they sailed around the earth. And this is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back in Surah Naziyat, chapter number 79, verse number 30. Previously, we thought that the light of the moon is its own light. Recently, yesterday in science, 50 years back, 100 years back, we have come to know that the light of the moon is not its own light, but it's a reflected light. Now, this is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back. Previously, we thought that the light, that the sun, that the sun was stationary. Recently, we have come to know that the sun rotates about its own axis. In school, we have come to know recently. 50 years back, which is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back. So when we tell them that, alhamdulillah, Islam is a scientific way of life, which is far superior than any other way of life, then they'll be proud to be Muslims. Unfortunately, we feel that Islam is not the best way of life. If we tell our children that it's the best way of life and prove to them that Islam is the best way of life, inshallah, they will be proud to be Muslims. And we have to talk to them about books regarding dawah, etc., and then these children of us, they'll be proud to be Muslims and they'll convey the message to the non-Muslims also. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhir da'wan alhamdulillah bil Jazakumullah khairan. Before we finalize uh, and conclude the program, uh, I'll request all the brothers and sisters to remain seated uh, for for next uh, five to ten minutes. Can I ask uh, Brother Yusuf Chambers uh, to come up here and uh, literally within three minutes uh, say what he has to say, please? Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Thank you very much for being patient tonight. I need to remind you and reiterate upon what the scholars have said tonight about giving dawah and supporting dawah, supporting this work. Dawah doesn't just necessarily mean, by the way, going out, putting a table and putting lots of books on top of it and sitting in uh, small heath here and waiting for the non-Muslims to come. Dawah can be supporting the people who do that work. It can be putting money in a hat or a bucket. It can be, you know, writing a letter and complaining about, you know, Islamophobia, which we see in this country at the moment, you know, and which we've seen, in, in fact, uh, you know, in this country for years and years. So before you leave, you will find some people collecting in a device, a bucket, I don't know what it is, I haven't seen it. And it's to pay for this event. And if, on the face of it, 
you may see this event as just another event. But there's something quite special about this event. It's quite unique. In fact, we have one organization from India, the IRF. We have one which is based in London and is doing extensive DAO work, uh, the CRC. And we have IPCI, which you all know and love, probably. And we have Muntada al-Islami. So this is four organizations. We've heard a lot of questions tonight and comments and observations made by, the, by you, you know, yourselves regarding uh, you know, people being uh, splintered, you know, scattered in this dawah. We have four organizations tonight who said, no, we are going to make ta'aun, we are going to make cooperation, we are going to work together in this, in the, in this deen, and we are going to put this message forward for the whole of the humanity, particularly as we're living in a non-Muslim country. And there are 80, 90% of the people in this country, I was one of them 12 years ago, that don't know the first thing about the purpose of life. You know, so this is really what I have to tell you, that if you don't know the purpose of life, you know, then you're going to be misled, and you're going to try and mislead other people. And, you know, as uh, Dr. Zaki and I has just said, in relation to, uh, you know, the question about somebody inviting. You either, you're going to invite or you will be invited to. So, in this, in this country, particularly in this time, in this critical time for Dawa, the scholars are calling this the critical time for Dawa, we need to reach out and support the people who are doing Dawa. And if this means IPCI, you support them. If this means IRF, IRF, yeah, <laughs> got it. You support them. If this means George Bush is giving dawa, you support him because he's been giving dawa lately. If you don't know, there's 40,000 people who became Muslim, Muslim since September the 11th in his own country. I happen to know in the last five years in the prisons, 5,000 5, Muslims in the prisons. 1,571 people took shahada in the last five years with no dawah in the prisons. So why is that? Why is that? Is that because you guys got up and told them? Is that because you visited the Muslims in the prisons? Is that because you exhorted one another, you know, another to, to, to the righteousness, to patience and truth? Or is it because we just sat down and did nothing? Because this is the reality, brothers and sisters. Right now, we're sitting and we're doing nothing. We're sitting and complaining and moralizing and doing nothing. And then we expect that who's going to pay for this hall tonight, for instance? We just expect that somebody else. Oh, don't worry. There's probably a businessman. He'll pay the bill, 3000 4000 whatever it is. I don't know what it is. But I'm telling you that if each and every one of us commands the good, forbids the evil, says that we're Muslims and is upon the righteous way, and we put one or two pounds in that bucket tonight, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase it. The barakah will increase. And we will maybe have money to pay for three halls or four halls or maybe ten Zakir Naiks. Inshallah. So, I don't know if I've said that too forcefully or whether I've said it from my own desires, but I do love this deen. I know it's the only way I know that communism has failed the world. I know that capitalism has failed the world. And I know Islam is the only way forward. And that is clear. Even the non-Muslims are saying this. If you listened the other day, and you would have seen Yvonne Ridley, or heard her, may Allah help her, on the radio station, defending Islam. Defending Islam. And she's a Muslim. So she can defend Islam. And the non-Muslims were phoning in, defending her. And even Campbell himself, Mr. Campbell, you know the one who hates Islam, the one, Five Live. Even he had to admit that women's rights in Islam, as written in the Quran, revealed in the Quran 1400 years ago or more, were incredible. So, Islam is needed. We have at the moment Barclays, NatWest, considering selling houses via Sharia methods. 
We have, in every sense of the words, the only way, the only way forward now, Al-Islam. And we are the foot soldiers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are not the foot soldiers, who is? Is it the Times? Is it the Sun? Is it Radio 5 Live? Is it Mr. Campbell who hates Islam? He admitted it. Is it James Whale who hates Islam and decries Islam every week? Or is it us? Are we upon the righteous path? Or are they? Do they know Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Or do we? Do we make it tibaf Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Or do they? It's us. It's us. It's us. And it's organizations like this coming together, making ta'awn, making cooperation, is the only way forward. This is how we will destroy the enemies of Islam 